Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Forge base mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1 and this mod is called JEI which stands for Just Enough Items mod and this is on the latest release of minecraft and as you can see in the top left there it does say minecraft version 1.17.1 so i'm going to show you guys how to download and install the jei just enough items mod for minecraft java edition version 1.17.1 on forge and i'm also going to show you guys how to download and install forge for minecraft java edition version 1.17.1 and then get everything set up so as you guys can see right now on my screen i do have the jei just enough items mod open and it is showing me how to craft a shield using the different items over here which is really useful and if you guys are starting out and you are playing a survival based game and you don't want to keep on looking up how to craft items then this mod is really useful you can just click into an item and see all the crafting recipes for that item as you guys can see we do have pages over here which show all of the items in the game and we can just scroll through those pages and and then view the individual items you can also bookmark specific items so if you want to come back to it later on you can click into it and just view its recipe as well so let's go ahead and bookmark one of these doors so to do that i'm going to click into this iron door and then i'm going to press a on my keyboard and as you guys can see on the top left here it has bookmarked the door for me so if i go out of the screen and go back into the game and then i'm going to press e on my keyboard and this is going to open up this interface with the adjust enough items jei mod showing and as you can see on the top left here it does have the iron door in my bookmark section and i can click into it and i can quickly see how to craft this item to get rid of the bookmark i can just click back into the icon for the iron door and just press a on the keyboard and that will delete the bookmark this mod is really useful because you can search for specific items as well if you don't want to scroll through all of these pages so for example i can just type in axe and it will show me all of the axes that I can create and if I click into this diamond pickaxe it will show me how to craft it which is really cool it is showing me how to craft it using a crafting table and it's telling me I need the three diamonds and two sticks if I click into the stick it will tell me the different ways I can make a stick using bamboo or the planks if I click into a plank it's going to tell me that I need the logs to make the four planks Let's click back on the diamond pickaxe. I can also click on the diamond over here and it is showing me that these nine diamonds can be crafted this way. I can also click on the top icons here. So as you guys can see, it says blasting and it's showing me different things I could do in the blasting section or the smelting section as well using the diamond ores as well. So it's really useful. It tells you all of the different ways you can craft an item and we can go ahead and look into that and learn the game that way as well. Well, you guys will notice that if you click on this uh, wrench icon down here then you might get a message that says install ftb library to access this however i have not been able to find the ftb library for version 1.17.1 but to be honest we don't really need to configure anything because everything is in this mod and we can view it clearly if you guys are using cheats there is another thing you can do where you can just click on the item and receive the item straight into your inventory and i'm going to show you guys how to do that now just hold down the control key on your keyboard and click on the wrench icon over here so as you guys can see it now says cheat mode enabled and the the wrench icon has turned to red now to actually have the item and take it out of there you obviously do need the cheats enabled in your world and if you don't have cheats enabled i will also show you after this step how to enable cheats on your existing world all right so if you want to take out an item and place it in your inventory really quickly just go one level above and press the escape key so you are seeing this bit of the screen and then just click on the item and you will see at the bottom here it does say gave one diamond axe and then it will say your username and then just click onto your inventory and you will have it there in your inventory we can do that with the diamond axe as well and let's do that and we can also just search for a diamond in our search bar and we can do that with all the diamond pieces of armor let's go ahead and do that now there we go so as you guys can see it's really simple and obviously i do have cheats enabled and as you guys can see i am playing in a survival based world with the cheats on if you guys don't have cheats enabled you may be wondering how do i enable cheats in a survival world i have done another tutorial on this as well 
the easiest way to do it is just press escape, click on open to LAN and then click on allow cheats on and then click on start LAN world and that will enable your cheats. And then obviously you can do this step with the JEI just enough items mod. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys now how to download and install Forge on your Minecraft game version 1.17.1. .1. Then I'm also gonna show you guys how to download and install the JEI just enough items mod for Forge on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do now is to actually install Java because we do need Java to open up the Forge installer. So just open up your internet browser and just start typing in Java JDK 17. That is the latest release of the Java JDK file that just got released recently. And then we need to scroll down and click on the oracle.com link over here. I will leave a link in the description for all of the downloads that I am showing you guys today. So you don't have to go around searching for them. You can just click on the links in the description. Okay, if we just scroll down and because I'm on a Windows based machine, I'm going to click on Windows over here. I'm going to download the x64 installer. I'm going to click on this file here to download the x64 installer for the Java JDK version 17. So this is a big file, it's 152 megabytes. So let's wait for that to finish and I'll be right back. All right, so as you guys can see, it has finished downloading the Java JDK 17 file there. So we can close down this window. We can now search for Forge. So in your search bar, just type in Minecraft Forge and you should see a link here that points you towards the files.minecraftforge.net website. So click on that link over there, and then we need to go to the main homepage, and then we can download the latest installer of Forge for Minecraft 1.17.1. So just click on the installer link over here. It will open a ad-based page like this. So just wait for a few seconds, and then we can click on skip over here to start the download. And as you guys can see, it has started the Forge installer download. Now do bear in mind that the Forge files are in beta version at the moment. So keep checking back on the main Forge website for the latest releases of Forge. Okay, so now we can close this down and now we can finally get the Just Enough Items JEI mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. So in your search bar, just type in Minecraft JEI and it should come up with the curseforge.com link over here and if we click onto that link it will open the curseforge page you will see that on the top here it does say game version 1.12.2 so just ignore that click on files and then just scroll down and it should have a version for 1.17.1 so we can see that jei is released and it's available for 1.17.1 i'm going to click into this link over here and then i'm going to click on download to download just enough items jei mod for version 1.17.1 so let's wait for that download to finish all right so as you guys can see the jei just enough items mod has finished downloading and i'm now going to place all of these files onto my desktop and i'll show you guys how to get all of these files installed and so up. All right, so the first file I'm going to install now is the Java JDK version 17 file, and we do need to install Java to actually open up the Forge installer. It's the easiest way to do it, so make sure that you do install Java and you do have the latest version of Java installed. So I'm going to double click on this file to start the installation. As you guys can see, it's now saying the software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to select yes. I'm then going to select the default options by clicking on next and just wait for that to finish installing. All right, so as you guys can see, it now says Java has been successfully installed on my computer. This is the Java JDK version 17 file. I'm going to click on close. I'm going to now move this file out of the way. And then now we can actually go ahead and install Forge. So on the Forge installer that we downloaded earlier, just right click on that file and then select open with. And then now we can select Java platform SE binary. And that should open up the Forge installer. So you should get a installer screen like this. And as you guys can see, it says welcome to the simple Forge installer for version 1.17.1 and this is Forge version 37.0.60. Obviously, if you are downloading this in the future, you will have a much higher version of Forge. So just leave everything as it is and click on OK and then that should start the actual installation 
of Forge. So just give it some time and then it will give you a message that Forge has been successfully installed. So as we can see, it does say it has successfully installed the client profile Forge for version 1.17.1. I'm going to click on OK. I'm then going to move this file out of the way. And now we can actually go ahead and install the mod. And to do that, we can open up our Minecraft launcher. Once the launcher has opened up, we can go into our installation section over here. You will see a link for Forge. So, so we do know that Forge has been installed for version 1.17.1 and if you just hover over any one of these lines and just click on the folder icon over here that should open up the default minecraft directory and now we can close down the launcher so do make sure that the launcher is closed now and if you look in the default minecraft directory you should have a folder that says mods if for any reason you don't have this folder that says mods right click on an empty space click on new click on folder and then rename it to mods like it says over here. I'm now going to go into the mods folder and I'm going to drag this over here and I'm going to now drag the JEI just enough items mod file into the mods folder. So you should have the JEI for version 1.17.1 jar file inside the mods folder. I can now close down this window. I can then open up the Minecraft launcher again and let's wait for that to now load up. All right, so once we've installed the JEI Just Enough Items mod, we can actually now launch Forge. So you've got two ways of doing it. You can either make sure that Forge is selected in the drop down over here and click on play, or you can go to the installation section and hover over Forge and then click on play. So let's do that. Let's click on play to launch the game with Forge selected. All right, so as you guys can see, it has loaded up the game and we are seeing that the screen looks slightly different. So let's maximize that. So as you guys can see on the top here, it does say Forge Beta. So we do know that Forge is in the beta stage at the moment. Obviously, once it comes out of beta, it will change the message here. You can see the version of Forge over here on the bottom left. It does say Forge 37.0.60. If the new updates do come out, you should see a message of the new updates on the bottom right over here. So you may get a message later on that says, new updates are available for Forge. At that point, just re-download the file and just install that version of Forge. Okay, let's go into single player. Let's create a new world to make it peaceful and allow cheats and create new worlds. Let's wait for that to load up now. All right, so as you guys can see, we are now inside a game. I'm gonna press E on my keyboard to bring up the menu for JEI. And as you guys can see, we do know that JEI is working because we can see this different looking screen over here and we can click into the, the different items and we can see how they are created. Obviously, you can just enable the cheats by holding down your control key, clicking on the wrench icon over here and making it red and then go back one level. Now I can click on this crossbow and I can click into my inventory slot here we can go back and obviously we can bookmark this crossbow by clicking into it and then pressing the a key on the keyboard there we go so we can actually go into other items as well to create them but let's give ourselves a fishing rod by clicking on the fishing rod icon over here and then clicking on the inventory slot over here and now we do have a fishing rod as you guys can see hopefully you guys have found this video useful and hopefully now you guys can download and install the jei just enough items mod for minecraft java edition on forge for version 1.17.1 if you guys do have any questions or queries on how to install or set up the just enough items mod then do leave them in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about this mod as well please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching